Hello there, fine countrymen and women. You may recognize me from my oil painting in Recitation Hall, or you may not recognize me at all. Indeed, I am Ezra Keller, founder of Wittenberg University, this fine institution. To ring in this year's Founders Day, I put together a slideshow of a few of my favorite Wittenberg memories. <sighs> I remember it as though it were yesteryear. We used to play baseball on the location that recitation was built. It was a good excuse to move this field. Would you believe that all of those bricks were laid by hand without a crane? Here's a photo of the first faculty baseball team. Between laying foundations and establishing a curriculum, we still managed to win the city league title. Believe it or not, at the turn of the century, it really was cool to tuck your pants into your socks. Ah, yes, Alice Geiger, daughter of my colleague Hezekiah Geiger. As the first woman to graduate from Wittenberg, she blazed the trail for women on campus nearly 100 years before many other colleges went to co-ed. Aren't those silly looking bikes? <laughs> I can't believe we actually rode those. There's Wittenberg's first chemistry professor, John Barker, teaching class in Coke Hall. There's Teddy Roosevelt, he visited campus to help squelch rumors that Wittenberg was allegiant to Germany. I'm pretty sure that they called the 1950s the golden years. <laughs> These students sure look happy to be on campus, don't they? <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt wasn't the only president to visit Wittenberg. The Wittenberg Stadium was packed this afternoon in December 1960 when John Kennedy told the country about his plan to create a little thing called the Peace Corps. Here's Davy Maurer and John Madden. Wittenberg played on primetime CBS Sports when the NFL was on strike. Some of our current students might not know or care but Billy Joel played a free concert on campus in his early days. Well, everybody's talking about the new sound funny, but it's still rock and roll to me. We used to have a bowling alley in the student union. <laughs> they called the champion of the bowling league Ezra's Strike. The torch has always been too hot to handle and too cold to hold. Here's the class of 2007 on the front steps of Myers Hall. Ah, isn't the class photo a fine Wittenberg tradition? And yeah, certainly it's one of my favorites. In 2012, I was so proud to see our first women's sports team win a national championship. Way to tag her up! Well, as they say, Time flies when you're preparing young minds for a fulfilling and impactful life. Happy Founders Day, everyone. And now we shall celebrate our achievements. Tonight we're going to party like it's 1845. Dum, dum, da dum, 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 dum. Dum 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 dum.